Well, I'm Bruce Janey, and today I want to take a look at cloudy plate resonance and the patterns that we can form in these plates when we get them to vibrate at specific frequencies. This is a great experiment, but some of the equipment needed is rather expensive. The price of a driver is about $200 and the frequency generator starts at about $300. So what I'd like to do is show you what I use to help keep the costs down. We're going to start by using an online tone generator. There are several available, but I seem to like this one. We'll need an amplifier. This is what I'll be using today. It was cut down from a portable speaker system, something like this one, only it was broken. It has an input jack, it has two output jacks, a left speaker and a right speaker, long wire with alligator clips attached to it. Other possibilities, here's an old stereo amp that I have. It has an input jack on the front, output jacks on the back. This has worked very nicely. One other possibility, here's another amp. This one's used for a public address system and the input and output are right here on the back. Next we need an oscillator and that's going to hold our metal plates. My oscillator is made from a speaker that I pulled out of an old stereo system. I'm going to attach two short wires to it. The other piece I need is a styrofoam ball that was cut in half. I hot glued a bolt into it and it's got a washer and a wing nut on top. The next step is to take that half and glue it into the center of the speaker. I'm going to use hot glue once again and just run a bead all the way around the ball. The speaker is then going to sit inside this plastic bowl. I'm going to put a little tissue paper inside first. There we go. And this is simply going to sit on top. And there's my driver. Now these are the plates that I have so far. I'm still experimenting, but I have some different sheets of metal cut to various sizes and shapes. I have a couple pieces of plastic. I painted it on one side just to make it easier to see. I even took an old record and I painted this to fill in the grooves and make the sand move on the surface a little bit smoother. Now we're ready to go. There's the generator, there's the amp, there's my driver, and it's sitting in a tub to catch the sand as it comes off the plates. While this driver was easy to make, it does have a disadvantage in that it was made out of a speaker. The sound does tend to get annoying after a while, so if you're going to try this, I would suggest headphones. Most of these videos are being displayed at their normal speed. However, I do have the sound turned way back just so it's not so loud. Now what we're seeing is the result of waves being put into the sheet of metal. It's forming nodes and antinodes, and the sand is settling into those positions where there's very little movement. We can change those positions simply by changing the frequency. Now we can see the same thing if we put energy into a slinky. A single node forms in the center of the slinky as we move it slowly. If we shake it a little bit faster, we'll see two nodes formed. And faster yet, we'll see three nodes formed. The same type of nodes are forming on the plates. However, their patterns are much more complex. Now let's see a few more examples.
So there's our demonstrations of the Clodney plates in this oscillator. Now I'll be looking at making different shapes to see if we can get some other patterns. I'm also looking for different demonstrations that I can do with this, and I'll be posting those in later videos. So come back and see them again. Bye.